I'm Doris. And I'm Marge Gottlieb. Here comes the chalice. Thanks to Kathy in Kentucky for sending in some suggestions to us via our email address. That's Doris and Marge, all written out, at gmail.com. Do you think we can advertise that anymore? I don't know. <laughs> okay, like it's on <laughs> Facebook, too. All right, here's the top five gifts for your Valentine. Oh, yes. Top five gifts. Number, Number five. five. Well, the obvious one is chocolates, but dark chocolate. Oh, yeah. Because that's healthy, and, and it says, I want you to be with me for as long as you possibly can. Here's a heart-healthy candy for mm -hmm. you. Mm-hmm. But when you're giving the chocolates to make sure, you know, make sure if it's one of those boxes, like those sampler ones, make sure it's got a map. You don't want to bite into something that you don't like. You're oh, just yeah. Just spit it out. Well, if it's for your Valentine, you better be getting something classy then. That does Because the classy ones like Godiva and, and Vosgi, they all have... Is that how you pronounce that? I don't know. That's you how know, I pronounce it. Boy, boy, I can't even do it. Vosgi. Anyway, they're, they've got bacon ones. And jalapeno. Don't get those. Nobody wants jalapeno in their chocolate. I don't care. I don't care what the cooking show says. Nobody wants that. All right, number, number four. four. Um, yourself at their door inside wearing nothing but your winter coat. Number, Number three. three. Why not get them a stuffed animal? A stuffed animal. That's cute. That is cute. It's really cute. With a little card on it, maybe, you know. And spread some of your cologne on it. Oh yeah. Yeah, absolutely. If you're gonna if you're gonna give somebody a, a stuffed animal, spritz it so that it smells like you. Yeah. You know. So they can't forget your scent. Mm-mm. Put a little Gina Tay on your oh, Gina teddy bear. Tay. Oh yeah, sure. Maybe a little Fendi. Fendi. Fendi was good, huh? I yeah. guess. A little Dracar Noir. Oh, yeah. A little Polo. Yeah, Sarko. Not all. Polo. <laughs> <laughs> don't put all of them. Just pick no, one. Just one. No, that so would be a... Ooh, disgusting. You'd probably burn the hair off the animal. stuffed animal yeah. with that. I don't even know. Which one are we on now? Three? That was three. That was number three? Yeah. Number, number two. two. Um, well, I'm thinking you cook dinner for them. Oh, that's good. If you Naked. Know well, you got to watch that. Well, don't use, don't use the frying pan. Like bake. You can bake a lot of so stuff. You got to be careful yeah. with that. But yeah. cooking dinner is a great idea, whether you're naked or not. You know, I mean, you know, as long as you know how to cook. Even if you don't, nobody has to know. You can just put stuff in from an ordering place. You order some Thai food or some, some Italian or something like that, and you just mess up some dishes in the kitchen, and when they come over, you just say, Oh, look, I'm sorry I'm not done cleaning up the kitchen yet. They'll never know. Who cares? Well, I don't know about lying to your Valentine on Valentine's Day, though. I mean, do you want to do? Do you want to set that precedence? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. It's food. As long as you're naked. All right. Or good food. Number one, the best thing actually to get your Valentine on Valentine's Day, a hug. Uh, mm-hmm. A hug. Because that's all they're expecting on Valentine's Day is... Well, what if they're uh, a new Valentine? Yeah. You don't want to overkill. Well, it's Valentine's Day. You kind of have to go overboard. A hug with flowers? A naked hug. With flowers. With flowers. Doesn't have to be roses. No. Cause Daisies that are nice. Would hurt. Tulips. Tulips are good. Yeah. There you go. You're welcome.